Night of the Demon, 1957. Directed by Jacques Turner. Starring Dana Andrews, Peggy Cummins, and Neil McGuinness. A skeptical professor is told he will die in three days when he starts an investigation. After a colleague aiming to discredit the leader of a satanic cult dies under mysterious circumstances. Is this supernatural threat real? This is a title I've been really excited to check out. It's actually been on my radar for quite a while and everything I've seen from it looked pretty wild. The demon in the film is what I wanted to see in particular. It's one of the freakiest looking designs I've ever seen in a 50s film. Created by George Blackwell, this nightmarish creature was brought to life using various methods of puppetry. The iconic demon wasn't originally going to be in the film and was added by the producer, which is why its screen time is relatively small but effective. Special effects are no good if they aren't in service of a good film though. How does the rest hold up? Dana Andrews carries the film effectively. With the rational skepticism of Professor Holden acting as a foil to the various people he encounters along the way, from superstitious family members to a medium that holds a seance he attends. Conversely, Neil McGuinness plays the leader of the satanic cult with an unsettlingly carefree and whimsical attitude. Especially towards a man whom he has marked for death. He also sports the world's most comically devilish goatee, in case the subtlety of his character is lost on you. A familiar face from a previous film shows up, Athene Sailor. She last appeared in The Queen of Spades. She has a far larger role this time around. The demon is established as a real entity in the opening of the film, which injects the plot with a real sense of danger that Professor Holden is initially dismissive of. I was a little disappointed that Peggy Cummins' character didn't end up being a member of the cult, with her literally driving a car with 666 in the license plate, but the lack of this plot twist didn't ruin the experience for me. To top it off, Clifton Parker's score is wonderfully tense and atmospheric, lending menace and intrigue to the story. Verdict recommended. Come for the demon, stay for the story. That concludes this week's review. If there's any obscure sci-fi or horror film you'd like to suggest, feel free to leave a comment below. Make sure to tune in next time for another thrilling low-budget adventure.